It is the 1st of June, 2022, so it's time for another monthly update video in which I'll talk about what went on in May that you might have missed, what is coming up in June that you probably want to get in on, and a few other things as well. I always like to begin by highlighting three big things. So big thing number one is that I am offering a course on Lighthall on Aristotle and his uh, conception of the virtues. I'll tell you more about that in the June section, but I want to put that on your radar. It'll start at near the end of June. Um, the second big thing is that I started a new video series on fake quotes from famous philosophers. I kicked it off with one on Aristotle with some of the most egregious fake quotes that you see floating around, and I'll be doing more of those. And big thing number three is that I'm going to be resuming, not, not doing a completely a new original kind of video, but resuming a kind of video that I did in the past, the Ideas That Matter series. And, um, you know, those were sit down interviews. I'm going to be doing those now using Zoom so that I can talk with people all over the world. And I think it's kind of a cool thing to start up doing again these, these interviews, talking about some really interesting things with some really interesting people. So those are the three big things. Lots of other things to put on your horizon. May started out with me in kind of a bad way. I had contracted COVID towards the end of April. I was in isolation up here on the second floor. I couldn't even work here at this desk in part because I didn't have the energy and you know with my wife down below I'd have to be masked up and so I, I wasn't shooting in front of the chalkboard or anything like that uh, at the start of, of May and I was you know having a rough time. Fortunately it was a mild case of COVID but mild COVID is still rougher than a lot of other things that I've dealt with and you know I've gotten better but I'm still suffering from some unpredictable fatigue what they call nowadays long COVID and um, I even did a video about that that I'll, I'll tell you about in just a minute um, so you know I did spend some time this month uh, creating videos, uh, a lot of times stuff that I could adapt without having to get up in front of the chalkboard again. I did get in the front of the chalkboard towards the end of the month, um, did some podcasting work, you know, taking my other lecture videos and converting them into Sadler's Lectures podcast, did a good bit of writing as well, and a lot of reading because I was laid up. So a lot of sci-fi and fantasy reading. Um, and my classes came to an end, you know, my Carthage classes, and I'm not going to be teaching at Carthage anymore going forward from this point. Uh, my Carthage classes finished up around the middle of the month. My Myad class classes uh, finished officially at the, be the beginning of May, but we had a few stragglers within completes that are now resolved. So that's good. You know, spring semester is behind me. Um, I did, you know, quite a few online events. I still did a, an AMA and Ask Me Anything session. I did Worlds of Speculative Fiction on Olaf Stapledon. Um, heavy Metal class, me and Scott did some uh, cool album reviews, eight of them actually, of recent albums by classic metal bands. Um, you know, I held my, my Hegel sessions. I did the Milwaukee Stoic online session as well. And I continued on with the basics of Stoicism live streaming events. Uh, we talked about in one session the virtue of justice, in another session the virtue of courage. Um, I also did something new, which was the Light Hall session. I was giving it a try, this new platform that I am actually quite happy with, and I'm going to be doing more stuff. So I did something on five Stoic practices in Epictetus's and Caridian. I'm going to be following that up this month with another session on five additional practices in Epictetus's and Caridian. Um, and I did also a presentation while I still had COVID, and it really wore me out, but it was a good presentation to do on um, Anselm on Divine Simplicity and the Trinity for the Dionysius Circle. Uh, that was an online presentation. 
And, you know, I, I actually had to put off quite a few of my, my clients for the first week of May, but then I resumed doing tutorials and philosophical counseling and academic coaching and, you know, talking about different projects and stuff like that. So videos. Um, I released some of the half-hour Hegel videos that I'd done the previous month, and I did get two new ones shot that are available already for Patreon supporters of the project. They'll be coming out later this month. Um, and I did some core concept videos. I didn't shoot them in front of the chalkboard. Instead, I took the footage that I'd, I'd used uh, for my online business ethics classes and uh, which have been uploaded elsewhere. You can't find them in my main channel. Well, now you can because I turned them into core concept videos on um, uh, Norman Bowie's Kantian business ethics and on Milton Friedman's famous, you know, the responsibility of a business is to increase its profits uh, editorial that he wrote a while back. I also remastered a number of the Epictetus and Caridian commentary videos. Didn't quite finish up with those, but I got uh, a lot of those uh, done, so that that's good. Um, event videos and the class videos, they're all linked to below. If you click the, you know, show more, all these things you can find in the video description. I also did a caption contest. I hadn't done one of those for a while, so I did uh, one with Sassy. I'm still missing, you know, our, our old 19-year-old cat died back in April and, uh, you know, still missing her quite a bit. Um, I did that fake quotes video on Aristotle. You know, I took the, I went to the sites where you find all these fake quotes being, you know, passed around and, you know, took their, their, their images. And then I did a video talking about why these are fake quotes. And, you know, when we know where they came from, where they actually came from and why, None of them are things that Aristotle would actually have said. Anybody who actually knows Aristotle would know that, but most people don't, right? And so this is kind of a my little contribution to cleaning up the uh, philosophy internet sphere. Um, we also uh, did a video on a Twitter conversation where a journalist kind of stepped in it, telling academics how they ought to Right, and I did a video that I released just yesterday, uh, Reflections on Life Lessons, talking about what it was like for me to have COVID and how I'm still suffering some long-term effects from it and some of the uh, impact that's had on my work life, um, you know, cutting into it considerably and some of the ways I've been rethinking how I'm going to have a sustainable work-life practice in my 50s, which is where I am, and uh, beyond. Um, the other thing to talk about is podcast. I, I did a lot of podcast episodes because those didn't require me to, you know, uh, do much of anything other than sit at a desk. And so uh, quite a few uh, Aristotle podcast episodes we finished up with on, you know, uh, his conceptions of justice, uh, Prudentius's Psychomachia, a text that I taught earlier this semester, um, some Augustine, City of God, Book 19, Richard Dawkins, The Selfish Gene, uh, a text I'm teaching this summer again, and finally, um, Epictetus Discourses uh, podcast episode. So uh, quite, a, quite a few of those. And uh, so that's what we got done during May. Obviously, COVID put a big crimp into my productivity. One that's probably going to continue for, for at least months to come. So that is May. We got a lot of stuff coming up in the month of June. I'm going to be going to a conference here, one that I look forward to every year at Marquette University a little bit later on in the month, Aristotle and the Aristotelian tradition. Um, that's always a fun conference and it's going to be in person this year, so I'm going to go to it. My events begin on the 4th, that is a Saturday. At noon, I've got my AMA, that's Ask Me Anything session, live streaming, and it literally you can ask me anything. Um, you know, you probably want to get your questions in at the start because I get too many to possibly answer in the hour and a half that I allot to it. 
Later on that afternoon at 2 o'clock Central Time, all these times are Central Time, I will have my philosophy chat for Patreon supporters, uh, kind of a perk that I have with them. You know, if they want to have a more intimate conversation with me, that's something that you can do. On the 5th, so the Sunday, we'll have uh, another Basics of Stoicism session, and we're going to be finishing our discussion of the four cardinal virtues. So we're going to look at temperance. We've already talked about wisdom, justice, and courage. Now we get to temperance, which includes a lot of stuff for the Stoics. That will be a lot of fun. And, you know, if you if you get there, you can ask questions uh, in the chat. If you miss it, there'll be a video. On the 8th at 5 p.m., uh, I'll have my public Hegel Q&A and discussion session. Uh, open to anybody, uh, supported by the Half Hour Hegel Project Patreon, but you don't have to be a member to, to join in. On the 12th, I'm going to have a free class on Light Hall at noon Central Time. Um, and that will be the continuation of five more Stoic practices from Epictetus's and Caridian. As it turns out, there's, there's a lot of Stoic practices in there. And so I'm going to be giving you some of the best high impact ones that you can apply to your own life. And we'll have lots of time for Q&A in between each of the practices, talk about how you'd apply it. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of good stuff there on the, um, 18th, we will have our classic metal class. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, we do have on the 11th at noon, the worlds of speculative fiction. And that is going to be looking at uh, Veronica Roth's Carve the Mark universe. There's two novels and a couple short stories. Um, very recent stuff, and I've actually met Veronica Roth, and, and this is going to be a, a lot of fun. So video premiere at 12, and then Zoom conversation at 1.30, following up on that. Uh, coming back on the next Saturday, the 18th at noon, Scott Terulli and I will be having classic metal class session number 20, we're going to be discussing, we're, we're reprising the question of who's an original member of a band because Rudy Sarzo, <clears throat> one of the you know people who's very central in the band Quiet Riot, has called himself and made some good arguments for, well, he's not a completely original member of the band. He's an original member of the Metal Health Quiet Riot era. So we're going to do some metaphysical discussion about what constitutes originality and, and some aesthetic stuff, and that'll be a lot of fun. You can join us for that conversation. Um, on the 19th um, at noon, I will be reprising the self-directed study videos and doing a video premiere. I'm not quite sure yet who I'm going to do. Um, there's a lot of thinkers to get to, to give some advice about how you would go about studying them. So I'll, I'll pick that fairly soon and get that posted. On the 25th, we will be doing uh, at noon uh, political theory and practice discussion. And then on the 28th, um, I will be starting a new course that runs for eight weeks with Light Hall. And this is a paid course. It's, it, it costs $80, but you get eight sessions out of it. I'll be doing the sessions uh, weekly. And there's Plenty more information if you just click below. You know, I don't have to go into all the particulars here. But what is the topic? Aristotle on the moral virtues. So we're going to be talking about all the different moral virtues that Aristotle goes into in the Nicomachean and Eudamian ethics. We'll also be talking about the importance of prudence in guiding a person towards moral virtue. So if you if you really want a, you know, kind of intensive study of how Aristotle understood moral virtue, one of the most important people in virtue ethics, studying with somebody who's been, you know, reading, teaching this stuff for close to three decades, you might want to sign up for that class. What else do we have going on? I'll, I'll be doing a lot of um, video production. So, you know, um, Half Hour Hegel, I want to start getting getting myself back up to four videos a month. I do want to get this 
this book done by the end of the year, right? Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be doing some book review videos. I've actually got one ready to roll, um, and I'll be doing a lot more of them this month. Core concept videos, uh, I'm going to continue on with the business ethics stuff with a great set on Robert Audi's uh, classic article about virtue ethics in business. Also going to be doing some stuff on flip a foot on the trolley problem because I'm teaching that this summer for my, my classes that I'll tell you about in just a minute. Um, I'll also be doing some personal videos. Um, I've got a lot of footage of Sassy the Cat, and uh, for those who are willing to sit through you know, about an hour's worth of stuff, I'm going to do a tribute video like I did with our dogs when they died, and also about her, uh, Sassy's sister, Teensy. I'll be doing some other personal videos as well. Um, I don't know exactly what I'll be talking about, but probably some Sadler stories and probably some, some other stuff. Um, I might do some more of those Sadler's asides and digressions uh, videos. People seem to like that. I'm going to be remastering the remainder of the Epictetus videos. And of course, there'll be all these events and interview videos coming up as well. And I'm going to shoot some more videos specifically for my introduction to philosophy class about, you know, some, some really basic key things having to do with philosophy. And so that's a good segue into talking about what am I doing this summer? Well, I'm teaching one academic class that starts in late June, and it's Introduction to Philosophy for my Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design students. And it, it's a challenge to, to teach in such a compressed format, um, but I'm, you know, I've got some good ideas about what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do some writing about, you know, how I'm structuring it. I will tell you this, the students are learning about how to find philosophy on the internet and how to do philosophy through the internet. So they're not just writing papers, they're writing blog posts, creating podcast episodes, making and analyzing memes. Very, very cool class. Um, I'm also offering that light hall class, as I mentioned, which is for anybody who wants to take it, you know, uh, eight weeks doing a fairly intensive study of Aristotle on moral virtue, going a, into a deep dive. Like we'll have an entire session just on Aristotle on anger. One entire session is devoted to how we deal with money in generosity and uh, magnificence. We'll be doing an entire session just on justice. So it's, it's going to be a really great class and you, you probably want to check it out just to see if it would be for you. Um, I'll be, you know, doing some other online class release stuff, more things that aren't um, live, but rather, you know, you can study at your own pace in my Teachable Reason I.O. Academy. I'm working on some class stuff for Listenable, which are audio classes. And I might, I might launch some email classes as well for those who like to do things at their own pace. Um, and then what else? Uh, you know, I'm working with clients, of course, uh, with tutorials and, and philosophical counseling and coaching and stuff like that. I am doing a few uh, podcast things uh, going on other people's podcasts. So you can uh, see those in my social media when they come out because it's on their schedule, obviously. And then finally, um, the podcast. What am I going to be doing in the Sadler's Lectures podcast? Um, I got some stuff that I did a while back on the cynics coming from authors like Lucian and Xenophon and Diogenes Laertes. So I'm working through those and you'll see those released uh, probably later on this week. And uh, finishing up with the Epictetus uh, stuff, I, I still have more that I could do, but we'll leave him alone for a while. And then I've got some uh, podcast episodes on Plato's Republic that I really need to do, I think. And um, we've got some uh, stuff on Augustine's Confessions from the videos that I shot for my medieval philosophy class, converting those into podcast episodes. And that'll probably take me to the end of the month. So a lot of stuff lined up. Um, hope it's a great month for all of you. It's a beautiful time here in the MKE, the Milwaukee area, right? So maybe I'll see some of you in person. If not, I hope to see you at these various online events and classes and other venues where we can meet up and 
Have a great month.